Recently, a friend of mine talked about how cowardly the people at his work were, how they went along with every harebrained idea management came up with. Politically, they were as woke as anything the management could come up with, but their cowardliness extended to mismanagement. It was more important to do something badly than to confront anyone over their mismanagement. Now, nothing that I have written will be a surprise to most people. Most of this could have been written and been true 50 years ago, although not all. I think things have gotten worse, and for good reason. 50 years ago, people had job security, and they had the support of most organisations in society. The government, business, and the unions wanted people in secure employment. Today, that isn't true at all. What changed? 50 years ago, most people thought family was important, that a man who did not have a wife and children was in some way suspect. To use a modern term, he didn't have any skin in the game. A father has to worry about the future because he has a stake in it. What's important to remember is that this was the default position. Not to hold it was rare. That means that at practically every level in every organisation, this was true. It gave a stability that today doesn't exist in anything like it did. 50 years ago, most people thought that class was something permanent, at least for them. Maybe their children could be a different class. Maybe. Class solidarity was something real and true for all classes. Each guarded its rights and privileges jealously, the things that made it distinct, the things that gave it character. 50 years ago, there was no such thing as gender. There were two sexes, male and female, and everyone was one of four types, a man, a woman, a boy, or a girl. And it was unchanging and solid, a constant. Marriage was also regarded as permanent, and the idea that a parent would be prevented from seeing their own children was something that happened in dictatorships. Family was forever. 50 years ago, most people lived where they were born. Immigrants certainly existed, but it was possible to live somewhere and have no contact at all with an immigrant. Imagine that, if you can. 50 years ago, people thought a job was for life. There really did exist permanent lifelong employment. That was true until the late 80s. Everything and everyone had a place, and most people couldn't imagine a world in which that would not be true. That included the organisations that these people belonged to, or whose purpose was to serve them. When people complained that there was the idea that even if they were wrong, they would have support, that they would not be a lone voice crying in the wilderness, even that wasn't always true, but it was much truer than it is now. Today people are taught not to stick up for themselves, not to create waves. Anti-bullying programs are not about protecting people, they're about keeping people in their place. In the past, if you saw someone doing something weird, you called them out. Today, that's called bullying. Honesty is discouraged at every turn. Don't tell the weirdo that they're weird, because that's not allowed. Instead, you must learn to suppress what you think and follow the program. And that has occurred at every level of society. But why? Why have people gone along with this? Because there's no solidarity today. Everything that seems solid and permanent is crumbling before our eyes. You cannot count on people's loyalty anymore. They might not be actively working against you, but they won't protect you either. That lack of support has made people passive, scared of losing what they have. We all know the competition for jobs out there, and it's been that way for decades. Each year, there's more competition, more university graduates, more immigration. To keep what you have, you need to toe the line. No outbursts, no unpopular opinions, no mistakes. No being human. How long can people be robots until we're replaced by robots? Courage is easy when it doesn't cost anything. How brave will you be when it's your turn? This all breeds incompetence and slowly things will begin to fail. The only answer is for us to provide support to each other, 
We need to speak up for each other and we need to financially support each other. Hire our own people and be loyal to them. Support people on our side who we know need our help. We need to stop being individualists and start providing solidarity to each other, to be men and to watch each other's backs. Organise. 